Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. Whippy! Alright, so I'm just recovering from a little sickness here. That's why my voice is maybe sounds a little bit uh, different today. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about just my dilemma. Um, something that I that I go through that I that I realize when I think about it, what I'm going through. And my dilemma, I think in my life, is that I have so many things that keep firing off in my head all the time that it just it's it's almost destructive in in certain ways because i i it stops me from it affected my whole schooling when i was when i was growing up when i was going to school i couldn't i couldn't concentrate i couldn't focus i think a lot of artists have this um dilemma and but i i, I realize that this is a problem that i have because I'm what well, one minute I'm thinking that I want to do this and then one minute I think I'm, I want to do that so my mind never stops and, and in turn it sort of like makes me not the, the best listener um, that, that I think that I could be because I, I try but it's something that I have to work on it's something that I physically have to work on I have to just try to switch that gear and say okay I, I got to shut my mind off for a second. I just got to pay attention. My whether it's my wife talking to me or it's my kids trying to say something and they want to show me something at different times, where I'm conscious of it and I'll react and my brain will switch and then I'm okay. I'm gonna listen right now, but it it happens often. It's part of this creative thing and it it, it affects my sleep because at, at nighttime I dream like no tomorrow my dreams are insane I mean every night I, I, I it's, it, my dreams are insane and and they go through all these different realms and phases and they switch and and oftentimes my dreams will wake me up otherwise I'm just woken up and then I can't even get back to sleep because when I'm trying to go back to sleep I'm trying to calm my brain down I'm trying to stop thinking about the things that I want to do and it's not like, yeah, the, the, the thing is that it's like, I don't want to, I can't act on everything I want to do. I mean, I, I write things down a lot. You guys know, I talk about this and the importance of writing things down. I think this is part of my own therapy, why I have to do this. I got to write it down, but I don't want to do everything because if I do everything that I'm thinking about all the time, I wouldn't, I would be working all the time and I don't want to work all the time. So this is another sort of sacrifice, or a I don't know if it's a sacrifice because I don't want to be working all the time. And, but that the, as the brain just, as I'm trying to go back to sleep even, my brain is just kicking into these different things that, oh, I did this and that, and, 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 and so I have to try to tell myself things. Sometimes I just go into these breathing states where I'm just, breathing in and I'm just saying just like here and now here and now and I keep telling myself I'm just here and now otherwise I go into just um, breathe I just say the word breathe as I'm inhaling because I feel sometimes if you're saying the word breathe you're not thinking about anything else if you're just breathing so in a way it's a form of meditation but I need to do that but I think it's the real stuff that I go through in all honesty because when I go when you go through those funks or I know when I go through those funks when I get those days where you know it's like I, I realize I've been working since I was 18 years old as a professional artist I'm 45 years old now and I'm very grateful and thankful that I've been able to raise a family my kids are again almost up and out of the house getting to that point and been able to make a life as an artist but I realized just the the thing that just is that where again where the, the that big that major struggle is is just trying to um, concentrate, really trying to concentrate because I you know you go through those funks you know you go through those days where you're just like you like things are awesome and things are great and you're feeling good and other days where you're just like 
what's going on, man? What's going on in my head? Why, why am I feeling like this today? I think everything's great. You know, I got, I woke up, I got, I got a roof over my head. I can do whatever I want to do. I can speak to whoever I want to speak to. I can eat whatever sort of food I want to. I could, I could travel the world in food if I want to eat Asian food or Indian food or American food or English food. I can experience all that greater than what kings were able to do. But when you think about it, we almost live greater than the way the kings did because think of all the just the, the 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 filth they had, or just they didn't. They were eating the same stuff all the time, you know. Just the options we have today are greater than a, a king living in some place, and they had their limited options. You know, it may be abundance, but it was like got probably got very boring, a very boring existence, and probably that's why they were so, some of them so crazy. Um, but I think that's the thing where I realize that you know everything's great. I'm grateful for the things that I do have and the. The, again, the people that I'm surrounded by and the, the true friends that I have and all these other things, it's everything you go, but why is there something missing? What What is it that's that's lacking? You know, you could be at a job and you're working that dream job and you're doing that one property, and but what is it that's missing? So I got to analyze it because that's what my brain does. I got to analyze it and I got to try to break it down and I'm just trying to think, what is it? And I realize more and more it's about just the constant chaos. It's the constant wanting to keep creating, which is in a weird way, this production, this producing, and that desire to keep producing, but not wanting to put in all the work and be the machine of keep pumping, 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 pumping. I mean, I could create 10 Kickstarter campaigns, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I, I did one Kickstarter campaign and I think that was the goal to kickstart something and I and I did it. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to put, um, you know, and I was grateful for everything that happened with that. But I realized the amount of work that's involved and this. So you just get these ideas and what what's the next? What's the next thing that you want to do? And then I realized that we have time. I have time. I have time to work on all this stuff. I'm you know, again, hope to be 99 years old, 100 years old. So I got plenty of time. But there's still that longing and that, that desire to, to move to that next thing. Why? 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 Why is this? And I know it's not just me. I know it's you too. I know you're going through the same stuff. I think it's just trying to communicate it and, and say it and speak about it. It's like, why is that... Um, why is that frustration? Why why does that frustration kick in when it's and when it's a good thing? It's like it's not that it, it's bad. Why am I frustrated when things are good? Yeah, and this is all the time. You see, people that their, their lives, they're 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 content and they're they're succeeding and they're doing whatever their success is and they're doing what's good for them. But why is it that 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 thing? And I get maybe it is this. Maybe this is what it's all about. Maybe is that. We have the desire to create so many things that in our mind, we know we cannot accomplish them all right now, one time. We can only do one thing at a time. We know we have to do that. I think a great part of this is acceptance. And this is, I know that I have to, uh, that I have to come to acceptance with this, but it's still going to put me in a funk. It's still going to put me there. It's like, all morning this morning, and, and a lot of stuff that I realize that I do, which obsesses me more than anything, I'm not concerned about trying to find work and get jobs and all that, because in all honesty, I create a lot of my own stuff. Or yes, I'm dependent on other people to, for monetary reasons when I'm, when I'm doing jobs and working with clients and stuff, but I know that I can create that, and I, I know that I can develop something that people will find value in and would be more than happy to pay money for and 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 be and happy that their money that they, they, they feel good about it, which makes me feel good about it. So it's not that I'm I'm dealing and, and trying to go through that. I think what I'm just trying to find like it's teaching. Teaching just it obsesses my mind. It just which which makes me realize more than anything, which makes me realize more than anything that I know teaching is my purpose. I know, and it's so vital. I'm so happy to have found my purpose in life, which was to teach, is to teach. I And I'm so grateful for that. 
but they're with that mindset of being a teacher and wanting to teach comes this responsibility of just my mind just not stopping. Like all, all morning, I'm, why I sort of, I'm doing this art talk this morning, it was funny, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm just like thinking of all these ideas and thinking like, I'm, I got all these upcoming workshops and I'm doing things and I wanna change things and I'm meeting with students and I'm going to these schools and I go, what can I do next year? I'm doing this big um, artist residence thing at, at Fullerton and I'm gonna be there and I, well, what can I do and what can I provide for these guys and what can I give them and what can I show them and what can I teach them? And and so I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there as I have this workshop coming up next week and I'm thinking of all these ideas for, for caricature and all these ideas just popping in my mind and just going crazy and I'm just sitting there and again, it's obsessing my mind and my son comes down and I start talking to him about it and I said, you know, my son's name is Caden, he's 15 years old and I'm all, you know, and I'm I was telling him all about this. I was talking to him all about this and I'm just saying, you know, things that you don't know about me, you know, we're always asking how your life's going, what's going on with your life, but things that you don't know about me, what I'm experiencing, I go through all this and sometimes if you feel at times where I kind of check out at those little moments because my mind's spinning and we're having this conversation about this and he's telling me how he experiences this in school where he zones out and for like 20 minutes is in this whole other thing and all of it snaps back to it and it's like, holy moly, where was I? And I was telling him just about when he was younger, he used to do that. He used to just like be there, but he wasn't there. And all of a sudden it's like, you'd have these conversations, but he was looking like he was on this other planet. And then it'd snap out of me. He'd go, Dad, I'm, I'm, where, I was, where, where am I? You know, so holy moly. And, he, and we were talking about how he wishes he had written that down. And I said, I actually tried to get you to write these things down. Because when I saw you going through this, I, I tried to talk to you about it. I wanted you to explain it. And, um, and he wishes that he would have done it now. But then as we're talking, is all, you should do an art talk, you know, about this. This is a real good topic. So that's what you're right. So that's what made me run up right now. Just it's the morning on Sunday to do an art talk about this. And just to discuss this while it's fresh in my brain, because it's, um, it's something that I realize that I'm going through and just trying to um, work out. But I, I, I really, there, there's, a, there's a comfort to me through this experience that I know that it's not this other stuff. I kind of know what it is, right? I, I know what I'm going through. I know what I'm experiencing. I know that my brain doesn't shut off and it just keeps going with all these ideas that I want to produce and do. And then I know, like I mentioned, I don't want to work all the time. That's not what I want to do. But I don't want to keep going one thing after another and burn myself out. So, and then I, I, I've talked about it in other art talks. I'll work on something. And when you guys saw the art talk where I started, thought guitar was it, you know, and that's gone, you know. My little invention the idea that I was, I was well, so obsessed with, that's gone. It's just these things just kind of come and they go and it's this constant um, trial. So it's not that I'm trying to find out what I want to experience in my life. And you may be going through that. Again, I don't know what age you are, what you're, what you're going through, where you're at, but maybe that's something that is, it's going to take all this. Maybe where, maybe you're 18, maybe you're 20, maybe you're 30 right now. And maybe none of this is truly going to hit you till you're in your mid-40s. They always sort of like say, you know, when in midlife crisis, right? You get to your 40s. And they talk about midlife crisis. Does that mean you're dying at 80? You know, fuck you. I don't want to die at 80. Um, so it's just like, but people, it's real. I think it's real because we experience stuff and we keep going through this. It's just more and more people I meet, you know, gosh, their desire, their want, their need to get into the animation studios and they did it. They accomplished it. They made it. And I talk to them, man, I, I want to do something different. I, I want to get out. I want to change. I'm just... I'm, 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 I'm fulfilled. I'm not, because it's this desire of, is it, are you doing it because you're trying to prove something to people? And some people are. Some people's whole life is spent just trying to prove to others that they're capable of being something. And maybe it's because a reflection of 
maybe their life growing up, maybe their parents always told them they weren't going to be good enough or someone else didn't tell them they were going to be good enough. So the reason they're doing something is just to prove a point <coughs> to this person, you know, that and even that person can come and go in life and but they still want to prove that point that they that they uh, that they were better than that and they could they could do it and accomplish it. But so what is that within you? What 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 is it? And and maybe it's not as maybe it's just not as bad or chaotic or crazy that you that you think it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This there's so many times you know too where I just I wish I had the answer for everyone. I wish I could help everyone. And I remember I was talking to uh, this woman that I had met. She was she was an attorney. And she said, Stephen, you know what your problem is? You're trying to save everyone. You're trying to help everyone. But you got to give up on that because you can't do it. And when you come to the realization that you can't save everyone and you can't help everyone, you know, that that's when that's reality. And it is reality. You can't save everyone or help everyone. I realized I used to tell people all the time about my journey. I used to tell people all the time about, and I still do about, but this is, this is the path that I took and realized I can't tell you to follow my path. You got to forge your own path. You got to find your own way. You got to take your own machete and start cutting down those bushes and get you through to that clearing, whatever that clearing is for you. But I can tell you ideas. I can tell you important things regarding the passion, you know, regarding just have finding that clarity, just having that vision and, and deciding and all these things. But and, and so these things get frustrating with me too because I, I do want to try to help people. You know, I, I get these frustrating moments where I'll, I'll do a talk and I'll go and uh, whether it's doing my own workshops or whether I'm doing it tied in with schoolism. And I do these workshops and you get some, you know, feedback from people. And, you know, the most... The, the 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 hardest thing that I hear that that I think affects me the most, and it's not that it affects me. I think it, I feel bad for the people or the person because usually there's only about two or three of them, and you can you can have a thousand great reviews and you get two or three and you're just like oh, you know. But you got to pay attention to those. You don't ignore them. But when they say the talk's too motivational, too much motivation, you know, not enough drawing. I'm just like what. You know, are you kidding me? You know, how can you say that? You know, and I, then I then I start to feel bad or sad for that person that they're so closed minded. It's like when I had done a lecture one time, I was talking about I was going to talk about how to make your characters more dynamic and breathe a lot more energy in life. But before that, I had to get into why. OK, why you need to think about this. And I'm going down through the sort of the idea and someone's comment, you know, this was like a live feed. When are you going to get into showing us how to make people give more life to your characters? It's just like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And and those sort of things. But I realize at those moments, they don't last long. Because I got to let go and realize it's not me. It's that person who had, who's doesn't have an understanding. Who's who's unaware. They just, they, they want the pixie dust. And that's the same thing. It's the people who in the workshops just want that pixie dust and don't realize that the true pixie dust is the mindset and the thought process before you get to the drawing because it's all up here. It's not just in here. And at this, this is part of, again, this, this never-ending thing that I'm, uh, the, the journals that I've written and I'm so thankful that I've written down all these journals and I, and I write all the time because I look back at them and go, Wow, where was my mind at that time in my life? What was I thinking? Wow, this is interesting the way I was thinking, the way I was breaking things down. But anyway, that's kind of today's art talk. I just kind of wanted to share with you something that I was just experiencing and going through and realizing what sort of takes me, my, my dilemma, what sort of takes me down a bit. And it's like that constant nonstop firing of ideas and, and wanting to do them, but knowing that I can't do them all. And I think that's the frustrating thing and, and knowing that I can't do them all because I don't want to work all the time. I don't want to be going, 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 going to the point of burnout. So you can't do that. So that's it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. You can go to silvertoons.com, check out the upcoming events. I would love to see you guys um, at the, um, I'm doing a, a workshop in Santa Cruz. It's a retreat that's going to be coming in August 
um, a three-day thing out in the mountains, you know, meditation, retreat, just sort of slow it down a bit, discussing art, discussing observation, of course. There'll be drawing, workshop, and all that good stuff, but also being outdoors, so check it out. It's listed on my website, and of course, um, if you're interested in having the 30-minute Skype mentorship, where if you're just confused about your artwork or what it is that you want to do or you're not sure what direction, if you're presenting your portfolio in the right way or whatnot, 30-minute session, maybe that's all you need. And uh, you can just reach out again, silvertunes.com. Just go to the classes and you can see it there. Because people ask me all the time, are you still doing the mentorship um, through Skype? Because I don't have it listed on my video afterwards, but here it is. If you're interested, you can book a session. Just go through there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I wish you all the best. Try to control your mind or don't try to control your mind. Let your mind wander, but understand what's going on. Make it a great week. Take care. If you live in Orlando, Florida, be sure to check out my upcoming workshop next month.